Well, who said wet dogs can come in? Come on, get in here. Hey, it's been a while. Uh, been doing some crazy things, uh, doing a lot of solar installs. That business is taking off. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, it's just Coco and I out on an adventure and uh, while well, we're on an install tour in Wisconsin and we're gonna be at School of UP in Michigan. And uh, anyway, I thought I wanted to update you on something that I'm doing that's pretty cool. Uh, if you're into music in your bus, in your RV, I think you might like this. So let's uh, get to it. Don't mind the uh, the bus, it's a mess. And now we got a wet dog in the bus. But we've been living in here a week so far. And uh, while I've been driving, I've just, I've had my little sound core speaker for years and I like it, but it just doesn't have the sound I would like. Um, I like a, you know, I like a nice full sound that, uh, and that uh you know you might get in a car or something and this just it just won't do it outside at a campfire it sounds great uh actually i don't know how this new thing is gonna work so what i did is i bought a wireless sound bar um so then we can hook it up to our tv apple tv playstation whatever that kind of stuff but it also has bluetooth option as you can see there uh this is a i think it's called an on blast or blast on Got it at Walmart. I think it was like 119, 120 bucks. Sounds amazing because it's not just the sound bar. It's also the super low profile uh, sub woofer that just plugs in and I just plug it in right there for now. I might make an actual, maybe make another plug further down there and whatever. But for right now it works. It's all wireless. You just plug it in and it just starts working. It's amazing. And it sounds really, really good. Like. I'm trying to be polite where I'm at. We are uh, near Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, at a uh, land trust area. Uh, so far, it doesn't say no camping. We haven't been bothered. I can tell other people are camping around here, so we're just uh, saying yes until no. But anyway, so the point of this video is, hey, you're looking for decent sound in your bus. We actually originally were wired for 5.1. I was going to uh, these are some like an old uh, 5.1 system that I had. We're gonna have speakers here, speakers there, but as you can see, one of the mounts broke there, and the ones back there we ended up not even using. And then the receiver got too hot, <laughs> and now I'm using this little thing right here, and that's kind of a piece of junk. And this is a rat's nest uh, because reasons. This is so simple. And I'm generally a, I don't know if you'd call a hi-fi purist, you know, have a nice receiver. I had an Onkyo receiver I was going to put up there and actually did for a while, but I wear the speakers wrong. And so I, f I uh, fried a MOSFET in there, which at some point I'm going to replace. But again, I'm like, when am I going to have time to do that? So here we are. Now, why I was thinking, hey, I should show something about this other than it's a pretty cool speaker uh i'm changing the mounts that come with it so i can mount it to the ceiling i was gonna mount get some from uh amazon but then this morning i was like wait a minute so where did i put it dang it did i already lose it coco did you take it no i just had it oh it's it yes i'm wearing white crocs it was in my pocket. Okay. So this is what the mounts normally look like. And this is to mount to the wall because normal people mount things to the wall, but we're not normal people. I want to mount it right up there. So it sounds decent while I'm driving. And then it also works uh, when we're just parked and maybe watching a movie or something. Hi. So, uh, I don't have a ton of tools out here, so basically I was just using a combination of vice grips and a big wrench to spread it apart, and then I hammered it flat on a leveling block. So, I'll probably do the other one. I'm not going to show you the process on that. Uh, anyone can do that. Or you can buy mounts, and actually, I did buy some on Amazon. They're coming. I'm just being impatient, because 
Uh, I think we may, we're going to be driving today. You know what? I'll do a full... At the end of this video, I will do an update on our solar situation and what we're doing on that. Or the installs and all that kind of stuff, maybe. So, stick around. All right. And we're back. Here's uh, it all finished up. And uh, as you can see, I uh, carefully adjusted them so that they... So that this angles down a little bit underneath the TV. And I could you know do an artisan adjustment and uh you know we, we got wiggle room there and here underneath for all the safety inspectors we got a uh, big old fat screw coarse thread and a washer on there guess where this is going nowhere and uh zip tie and then zip tie uh used cable clamps up there and then we got our HDMI switcher here, which works pretty well. It generally does an automatic one. You know, it's one of those cheap uh, Amazon Chinese things. And I even cleaned up the wiring here. Look at that. Now we got the uh, the Apple TV going. What I don't like about this soundbar so far is it does not appear to let me adjust the volume via the Apple TV remote. Um, yeah through HDMI, our receiver at home does this. Maybe there's a setting in there. I don't know, maybe there's an app for that thing where I can enable something like that. Uh, but that does not seem to be working. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, I guess I could connect to it through Bluetooth and that would uh, that would allow me to do that. Maybe that's what I should do. Cause I have a feeling we're gonna probably use this on Bluetooth mode more than anything. Cause when I play music from my phone, it's gonna be Bluetooth and uh, I would play some music, but uh, that would get us kicked off YouTube, and uh, you don't get a sense for how good it sounds unless you're here. So uh, you're gonna have to come visit me sometime, I guess. Which brings us to oh, sure now she wakes up. Which brings us to our next uh, topic. Um, Jen and I believe Amelia and I will be at school of UP. So if any of you are in the area and you want to uh, check out a whole bunch of uh, school bus conversions. I know there's going to be a couple of coaches. Uh, Ivan LaCroix is going to be there. Dan Aldridge. Uh, he just got a new bus. Um, I think his channel is DA Designs or something. Yeah, I think so. Um, he's posted a couple of things on, on his channel. But uh, really, school bus conversions are great. They are so much artistry to them. Uh, I, I love it. I think it's a great community and uh, a lot of fun stuff. If you got a bus or even if you're bus curious, come on out. Uh, you can check it out and um, look it up on, I think it's on Facebook, Schoolie at UP 2022. You can find out all about it. Uh, I don't know that I have a whole lot else to share other than just uh, batching it here for another week until I meet up with Jen and just doing more solar installs. I did one on Monday, uh, then did, uh, that was a single day or they were working on a, uh, I think it was a Coachman Catalina. Uh, they were gutting, doing a full gut and remodel, pretty much like a DIY bus build or something. Actually, they told me they were originally going to do a schoolie build, but uh, decided to switch gears. So I helped them with the solar battery install. Uh, if you're curious to watch those, check out our Soda Solar YouTube channel. That's where I've been posting all those. Then the next week, or not the next, the day or two later, I did one for another couple. And that ended up taking about three to four days. Had a little trouble on that one. Uh, I had a Multi Plus 2 3000 K or 3000 VA inverter B dead on arrival. First one I've ever had of any Victron equipment just not work. Uh, it was not happy at all. So luckily, I brought some extras to uh, sell at School UP. I was gonna give people there a good deal, um, but I ended up using it. So it was a good thing I had it, which leads me to, I think every install I do, I'm gonna have some spares on hand. It just makes sense. Because had I not, I would have had to wait another week to get one in. Then I'm doing, uh, I think I'm gonna go talk to a gentleman today about a system that I think he's gonna install as himself, but we're gonna help him out with the equipment. And then 
uh, Wednesday through Friday, we'll be working on another one in uh, the eastern part of Wisconsin here. So if that's something you're interested in, check out our website, sotasolar.com, or the YouTube channel. I'll link those below. Uh, still do the web design thing too, um, but there's definitely a lot of demand for the solar stuff. And for those of you that have only followed my stuff, um, and if you're wondering, am I just doing things the exact way I did mine? No, not at all. Uh, my stuff, <laughs> my stuff looks the worst and is the worst. Um, I don't have nearly as adequate as protection as I should, or and it doesn't look nearly as good as it should. Uh, but I think if you check out our that channel, which I'm not necessarily trying to push people there, but uh, if you did subscribe, it would help. We're trying to get over that thousand dollar, or not thousand dollar, thousand thousand sub uh mark so then we can start making some money on it because right now youtube's making some money on it that's it yeah uh, anyway i've really taken it to heart went to school on wire sizing fusing all that stuff and i continue to learn more uh, trying to do the best i can trying to be yeah all that stuff so i appreciate you watching this channel uh if you are still watching Wow, you're some kind of uh, crazy person and I appreciate you because this channel is all over the place. So you must like us, I guess. So until next time, you have a good one and I'd love to hear from you.